Suresh Krishna had asked, what's the difference between working with, like, you know, the boys uh, tennis, uh, boy girl tennis, and men women tennis? Uh, to Suresh, yes, uh, yes uh, Suresh, the obvious difference is the physical part, and uh, and and because of the physical part, tactically also things will be different. So you'll have to address the the boys and the girls different, and uh, the men and women different. Again, the emotional uh, is emotionally also they are different. So as you work with them, you have to make a special effort to understand uh, that the girls uh, look at things different, they take things different, and uh, that, that comes from experience. I can share a, a, a small, my personal experience. Uh, I was always, I started working with the boys and I was traveling with them for like three, four years with a bunch of boys. And after almost, yeah, it was, yeah, it's actually after five years. And then I was asked to travel with a 16-year-old girl. I mean, okay, I won't uh, mention her name here, but uh, she's a well-known uh, tennis player, past well-known tennis player. So we were traveling, and then I was, only we were traveling, like only one girl and me. And my first experience of having to work with a girl, you know, for two weeks, we were traveling in South Africa. And those days, South Africa in the mid-90s was crazy. I mean, they escort you from the, from the hotel to the courts. I mean, they're always a gunman. You stay in the hotel, you don't come out. Those kind of things. So I was pretty much alone in the room, uh, pretty much alone the whole time. The only time I meet was uh, her when we meet for breakfast or on court for uh, practice. And uh, and she was staying with a bunch of girls. So she was having a normal life, to say. And I was having a very lonely time. Okay, that is one part of it. I don't know if that affected. But anyway, having said that, we were practicing one day and I just lost my head because I thought this player was not uh, interested. She's a good player, very keen usually, and I've never seen her like that. And uh, I just lost my head and I walked out of the court and then uh, she walked, obviously, she had to leave. And then, uh, like you said earlier, Jeevan, there was a center court. Nobody was sitting there. The match was going on, the second round of an ITF uh, junior. So I was sitting in one mm -hmm. corner and then I looked. The other corner of the stadium, this girl was sitting alone. And then I looked to myself and, uh, like you know, I thought to myself saying, I am supposed to be the, the responsible coach, mentor, working with a 16-year-old yeah. girl and I have behaved like a more immature than a 10-year-old walking off a tennis court and telling her do what you want. And she poor thing is sitting there alone. So that was the moment when it actually hit me that I need to look at things from a completely different perspective when I'm working with a girl. Then like you know, I went to her, we spoke and I actually had a conversation about asking her how she felt and I realized that what I thought and what she was saying were totally different. So it was completely my mistake. And that's the day I realized working with a girl is so different. So and to answer your question, Suresh, it's an effort the coach has to make to, I mean, as it is, you have to make an effort to understand each and every player you work with. But if you're working with a girl, don't equate her with the, with the boys in that sense. Yes, effort-wise, they do. They have to make in, put in the same effort. They have to be on time. They have to do the work. But emotionally uh, and uh, you know, mentally, they have a different thought process which you have to take time and effort to understand so you can work with them. And on court directly is the physical part. Obviously, there's a huge difference uh, physically between a boy and a girl, men and a woman. And also the emotional part. The girls handle losses in a different way. The boys handle it in a different way. The, the same thing, I mean, whatever uh, they go through, they're different. So. If you take the effort to yeah. understand the player and accept that they're going to come from it. And being a man, uh, it's, very, it's very tough to understand them. So I always have, there are moments when later, like the same player who I'm talking about is a coach now. So as she got on to like, you know, playing ladies tennis, when I was working with girls and I have a problem, I always spoke to her to ask, how do you see it? Because that's the angle a girl brings in. And it has been a huge help. Yes. So it's it's a process of learning. I mean, it's not something you can learn from the book or you can do a course. It is something, uh, it's a huge effort, I must admit. I mean, it's not easy. It's easy to lose your head. It's, uh, it's, 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 uh, but accepting that the boy and the girl is different, emotionally they're different, is the first step to going in that path.